Hi everybody and thank you for watching. So here is the area of my home that I'm going to tackle today. So I do have these boxes here that I grabbed from my garage. And so we are going to remove or we'll put that, take away all of the Christmas decorations. So we have the tree here. We have some Christmas stuff over here. And then we have a little bit over here as well. So we're going to take down all of the Christmas decorations and try and, um, move some of these toys around a little bit because that kitchen was over there not sure if i want to put it back there but we'll figure it out as we remove all the christmas decorations and kind of rearrange this area of my living room so i hope everybody had an amazing christmas and new year's me and my family kind of had a quiet one so my husband was working so me and the kids we stayed up until 12 said happy new year to each other and then kind of went to bed i was pretty tired uh considering all of december i was doing my 30-day challenge i'm actually very happy that it's done i didn't actually complete day 29 and 30 which was your purse and wrapping paper honestly i go through my purse on a weekly basis so there's nothing that i needed to declutter from that and wrapping paper we were really good this year and used up most of our wrapping paper uh, for christmas so i don't actually have a lot in my garage which i'm really thankful for and so right now we are uh, taking down the christmas tree so one by one we're trying to i do have like different types of decorations so we're doing decoration by decoration and putting them in piles and then i'm going to try and uh, put them back into these three boxes that i have i have not actually purchased any new decorations for a couple of years now uh, these decorations most of them i got from my mother-in-law and some of them i did get at, uh, clearance shopping a few years ago i really uh, this year i wanted to actually go clearance shopping but it's difficult when i have the kids at home and my husband's been working a lot he's been doing a lot of overtime during the holidays so it was really difficult for me which is fine i actually was able to save money i didn't have to go to, i didn't go to the store i saved money and um what we have right now will do honestly we have more than enough because if you look at those boxes i didn't actually use up all of the decorations that i have I'm thinking next year I'm going to do a massive declutter of my decorations. I wanted to do it this year, but my mother-in-law kind of convinced me, oh no, let's just use those decorations next year. Uh, but we'll see, because um, I really want to try and, if I can, um, I have three boxes of Christmas decorations. If I can bring that down to two, that would be amazing. Uh, that would uh, free up some more space in my garage. That's going to be an uh, area of my home that I want to tackle this year, 2024. The more stuff I can get rid of in my garage, the better. That is my goal. I do coupon, so if you don't know, I'm an extreme couponer. And lately, I have been reducing what I purchase from couponing. Um, I do have a large stockpile, and I, I was able to give some away to friends and family this year for Christmas. And I also had some friends and family buy some stuff for me so I was able to get rid of quite a lot of stuff but I still have a lot I'm more than a year supply than uh, most families would have in their house in their home so my goal this year is also to reduce that as well I, I'm now seeing all of my stockpile stuff as clutter it causes a lot of clutter in my hallway so I want to try and reduce that as much as possible. So now that all the decorations are off the tree, I am going to start to take the tree down. I did notice that there's a lot of uh, gifts under here that the kids received. I'm going to have to find a home for those. Uh, but before I do the tree, I wanted to kind of put away all the decorations first um, because it, there is a lot there. So I'm trying to put them in each of the boxes. I haven't put, like I said, I haven't purchased any new decorations, so all of these should, should still fit in these boxes when I um, decorated the tree at the beginning of December. 
I'm going to apologize in advance as I am editing this video. I noticed uh, you can see there it looks like something's up with the camera, but that's just my little one playing around with a toy in front of the camera. So you saw a little bit of the flickering there. She kind of was just playing around with that as I was cleaning. And so next I'm going to try and put away all of these christmas decorations that are in front of the tree i really am just trying to fill up those three boxes first before i take down the tree and then whatever i can't fit in those boxes hopefully i have space in the tree box so that is my goal there So two boxes are basically done. I have this little box here and then the clear one over there. I'm going to leave the blue one open because I do need to get my reef from in front of the door. But before I do that, I do want to work on the Christmas tree. So my Christmas tree has three parts to it. We got this tree, I would say two years ago, almost three years ago, I think it is. Uh, we got it uh, on sale at um, Home Depot. So I, I was really happy that we got this tree. I do like the pre-lit ones. I'm not a fan of adding lights to a tree and stuff like that. But yeah, I did get these quite a few years ago and it has served us pretty well. Off camera, I did go to my front door and collect the reef that I had there. So you can see there in the bottom right. So this is a beautiful reef that my mother-in-law hen made. And so we've had that for a few years in our home. I do love it. And so I do need to try and fit it in these boxes. And so that's why I left this box kind of open because I do uh, use also the tree box to kind of put decorations in there too, to make everything a fit. And so I'm basically done with removing all of the Christmas decorations. So everything here fit perfectly in the boxes. And then I'm going to show you it is a mess on the floor. Um, so when it comes to decorating and taking down decorations, it does uh, cause a lot of mess on the floor. So I do have to vacuum that up first before I even attempt to uh, rearrange the room and kind of clean up the toys. You can see here on the floor it is a mess there's all of parts of the tree and then there is a lot of glitter there on the couch so i do want to vacuum this up first before i even attempt to uh, rearrange the room so i'm going to do that first i'm going to vacuum and then i'm going to look at uh, the in front of the tv so the toys and stuff like that and figure out what i'm going to do whether i'm going to move the kitchen back um how i'm going to make this uh, more uh, neater uh, organized as well as cre creating a bit more space in my living room
Now that all of the Christmas debris has been vacuumed, we are going to start uh, decluttering in a way and organizing these toy area here. So a lot of the toys there on the right were new toys and stuff that they have uh, got from Christmas. And so as I was thinking about it, this bookshelf, I want to actually put on the other side and then the kitchen, I want to put back in that corner there. I think that would be best uh, that way i'm utilizing the space a lot more so the kitchen's pretty light so we're gonna move that kitchen over there and then um, the bookshelf itself was pretty uh, heavy so i did ask uh, my son to help me later on to move that bookshelf over there but before i do that i do need to clean up that corner of those toys that did fall off So I am very blessed that my daughter likes to help me out and so we are dividing and conquering. I am doing the entertainment unit here and trying to clean up that while she starts to uh, declutter a little bit of her toys. Uh, so she's trying to uh, put everything in the kitchen that should be there. A lot of times when the kids do play they kind of when they clean they just dump it on the kitchen and not putting them the toys away so she is focusing on that area and then i am dusting and cleaning up in front of the tv which is where all of those um christmas decorations was before little boxes there on the floor as I was opening it we actually found this one toy that my daughter my little one's been looking for for since Christmas and I can't believe I actually found it. it was in that little box there so this is what happens when we clean this is what I tell my daughter as we clean we actually find stuff which is really good so whenever we lose stuff it's best to clean that way we can find them so my other little one was really really happy she's been asking for that little stuffed toy since Christmas and we found it she actually hid it herself probably in that little box and totally forgot about it So I have now been decluttering my home for a couple of months now. So every week I was tackling an area and then in December I did the 30 day challenge and I was tackling an area every day and it has helped a lot. So this whole cleaning of the Christmas decorations and this toy section here only took us an hour and a half. So I have noticed by 
us decluttering the same area and cleaning it at least once a month it's taking us less time to do it which is really good so i read online something about stages of decluttering and now that i have kind of gone through most of my home i believe that i'm in the maintenance mode where every week i will go back and tackle these areas it shouldn't take me that long to clean it and then i'm just uh, maintaining the place making it clean and de small small declutter so you can see that my my daughter has a plastic bag of stuff that she wants to declutter so every time we are going through these areas she knows that she's going to probably probably fill a bag up of stuff that we can donate or throw away and that's what i do like it's this is going to take years of um decluttering my home i don't expect it to be like a model home overnight we do live here we do have kids but i am very happy with how my home is looking now compared to a couple of months ago So right now I'm just trying to make space for all the new toys that they did get and then that, that pile there like you see that bag on the right uh, those are gifts that they're not too keen on so I'm just going to put them in the garage for now and see what we want to do with those but right now we are almost done uh, we're, j we're just kind of trying to find homes for most of these items I am like I said going to put the certain stuff in the garage that they don't want to use right now and then all those small little toys there on the floor uh, more than likely we'll find a home for them quickly or we will donate them So I just did a bit of dusting and we are almost done. So now I'm just going to do a quick vacuum of all of the floor there. I'm also going to probably, probably move those uh, boxes and I'll put them in the garage uh, later on. But yeah, I am almost done. I am so happy that we were able to take down all the Christmas decorations, declutter and reorganize some of their toys. So that was my goal today. And so let's do a recap of what my living room looked like before. So I had all the toys over there in front of the TV and all the Christmas decorations. So I wanted to take down the decorations and then organize all of their toys and my living room looks amazing now there is so much space i have all of these boxes here of christmas decorations i need to take to my garage but everything looks a lot neater it does look a little still a little clutter it's not a display home people live here but i was able to move the kitchen over to the corner and then this bookshelf here on the side which i think is a better space for it i do have a bag here of donations but other than that that is my living room so i was able to organize some of the toys i still needed to clutter a lot more but for now this is i think this is amazing there's a lot of space once i moved those boxes to the garage there was so much space in this living room so yeah thank you for watching